Hi, I'm Chris Martirano, back with our great friends at Kraft Music, the home of those fantastic bundles offering amazing value. I'm going to be showing you the Nord Grand that shares now the family of Nord pianos with the Nord Piano 4. A really beautiful instrument is the first thing you notice. The second thing you notice is the unusual shape, and this is to accommodate this beautiful kawaii hammer action. The key tops are silky smooth with kind of a pseudo ivory feel, and it's just a joy to play. So let's dig in and take a look at what the Nord Grand offers. When you have a hammer action like this and it's married to this quality sample set, it's heaven. To a player, it's heaven. The touch of the keys, no stickiness, a beautiful silky smooth feel. Black keys and white keys balance beautifully. It's just a joy to play. Nord, I think, really listens to the user and I think they really understand what a pianist is looking for. I'm just going to explain the obvious in front of me. There's two speakers sitting on either side, so I'm just going to let you know what they are. They're monitors, piano monitors at Nord Design, specifically to bring out the quality of their piano sample recordings. And they did a beautiful job. They sound so beautiful. You can't believe from the small size of these speakers, the bass response. They're 80 watts a piece, so a lot of power. And even though it's a four and a half inch woofer, the bass frequency is unbelievable. These mounting brackets you see them mounted on can mount nicely to the Nord Grand, the Nord Piano 4, the Nord Stage 3, and that's the Rev B model, the 88 note or the 76 hammer weighted action. But they can of course be used with all Nord products uh, without the brackets with piano sounds. They're really, really designed to bring piano right into your face in a way that feels like you're sitting at an instrument. The Nord Grand today is sitting on one of the Nord metal stands. It's beautiful. It's used often, you'll see it with the Stage 3 or other Nord keyboard models. But there's an optional wooden stand that matches the finish that really looks beautiful. The instrument also ships with a triple pedal, and that triple pedal is beautiful. The sustain pedal is actually a continuous damper pedal, so you can have any kind of degree of damping, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, but it's very, very beautiful, and of course, all the piano samples take advantage of soft pedal, and also the unicorda, middle pedal, that allows you to just sustain certain tones and not all of them. So I'm going to show you some damping now on the fly and show you how this continuous damper pedal works. Again, you can tell that they know what a pianist wants. 
There's also pedal noise, which is something you hear as a pianist when you're sitting at a piano, specifically a grand piano. Of course, uprights make a lot of noise sometimes too, more than you want. But in this case, I'm gonna stomp on this sustain pedal really hard. Also, I'm using the term damper pedal, they're one and the same. And then I'm gonna just lightly press down on it without touching the keys, and we'll hear this Again, this damper noise of the dampers lifting up in the piano. All of this makes the pianistic experience very realistic. Sympathetic string resonance. I know you might know this from watching the Nord Piano video, but if you haven't, I'm just going to demonstrate that quickly. I'm going to hold down two notes, in this case a C and a G, and then I'm going to strike notes that harmonically relate to them, in this case a C and a G, up in upper range, and you'll hear the keys that I'm holding down resonate. So that's not reverb, that's sympathetic string resonance. And likewise, if I hold a C major chord down and strike a bass note, you'll hear the notes ringing. This is just a, a great time that we live in, that we can have this kind of technology, and we have Nord to thank. The piano memory in the Nord Grand has been increased twice as much memory, in fact. There's two gigabytes of piano memory now for the piano engine, allowing you to store those beautiful pianos, electric pianos, clavinets, harpsichords, FM pianos, etc which, by the way, you can go to Nord's site and download the ones of your choice and customize exactly what's in your instrument. The sample or synth player has exactly the same memory as the Nord Piano 4, which is a half a gigabyte. So plenty of room in there for you to store all kinds of synthesizer and Mellotron and Chamberlain and other acoustic samples. In fact, you can load your own samples in. They have a great editor that allows you to drop wave samples on different keys, form key maps, turn them into programs, and load them into the instrument. So a very beautiful instrument, very handsome design. There's a slanted front panel, which to me is great. It brings the whole user interface directly right at you. You look down, it's not like you have to look on top at all. It's all right there. You have this beautiful flat surface on the top. So if you want to stack something up there, it's really cool. I know people say it might be a little narrow. You might not be able to put a laptop. I put my laptop up there. As long as I don't have any people that are under the influence around the instrument, I'm very confident that my laptop sits there fine. Um, also, the controls on the front panel, beautifully laid out. You start from left to right with the piano or electromechanical instrument selections with all of the parameters that relate, such as the ability to have EQ for that section, the ability to adjust the volume, the range on the keyboard, whether you want to shift up an octave or down an octave, and then you also have the ability to adjust the keyboard touch. So there's a medium, a hard, and a light touch. Then moving from left to right, you have the sample synth player section, again with all the controls that you want to use here, attack, release or decay, your envelope controls, your level controls, your ability to select what the sound is you're working from, whether you want the filter or the amplifier or both to track velocity, uh, and then pedal inputs, whether you want the sample synth player to respond to your sustain pedal or to your CC pedal to control volume. Very cool. Both sections have a cool feature called list, where you can actually just see what's loaded into a category. So, for example, in the piano section, if I look at the category acoustic pianos, I'll only see acoustic pianos. I won't see clavinets, I won't see electric pianos, I won't see harpsichords. But then I can select the category, in this case, maybe electric pianos, and then just see what electric pianos I've loaded in. Because you can download the sounds from Nord's library, you can customize this section with just what you want. So it's handy to be able to see what you've loaded in. The same is true for the sample synth player. The display is an OLED display. Again, this shares m exactly the same interface but laid out differently than the Piano 4. 
but it's very, very handsome. Your effects section to the right of the display, and then you have your equalizer, delay, uh, amplifier and compression settings, and finally reverb. So really nice setup. You might wonder what happens because the controls are so near the keyboard if I hit one of the controls. Well, they thought about that and put a panel lock on it. So there's a switch you literally press and hold, and it'll lock the panel controls so you can't change them. So this is really handy. Again, while I'm in the technical mode, I'm just going to cover the back panel. You have what you would expect. You have a USB connection that sends MIDI, allows you to also receive data dumps, also receive your OS updates, things of that nature. You have pedal inputs for your CC pedal, for your triple lyre pedal. You also have your audio outputs. You also have an audio input which is an eighth inch mini pin, allowing you to play backing tracks maybe from your iOS device or some other device or your laptop. So power switch, power cable, all right there. Very compact. I believe the instrument weighs 42 pounds. So not too heavy for a ha real hammer weighted action in a cabinet this size made of beautiful handmade wood, hand finished. Um, so let's get back into playing. That opening piano selection I played is using the White Grand, which is a sample that I downloaded from them. Of course, all of their piano recordings and electric pianos, etc., come in a variety of sizes, like extra large, large, medium, and small. That was the extra large version. But since I'm calling it to your attention, I'm going to play it again. Check out the nuances available, the dynamic range and the tonal change as I play across dynamics is just amazing.
It's just a beautiful experience sitting here playing this. I hope you can experience some of that as you're watching it. On an acoustic piano, when you play the same note over and over again rapidly, an acoustic phenomenon happens where the damper is striking the string, the same three strings, in this case if you're in the mid-range, and the damper is kind of stopping some of the energy, but with each strike, the strings are re-energized, and so the attack portion of where the string is from the transient to the part that's resonating already creates this kind of beautiful, um, it's a lush tone, so I can describe it. There's not a lot of phasing that you hear. I'm just gonna demonstrate that on here. Also, it shows the rapid key response. Some people think hammer action, it means it's sluggish, but it isn't. Now I'm gonna hold the sustain pedal down and do that again. Very, very responsive. Uh, it's a joy to play. Those of you that have ever owned a Nord know that the quality of the build is exceptional. When they say handmade in Sweden, I've been to the factory, that's exactly what they are. They're handmade. Each instrument is tested, incredibly tested, baked for the engine to cook as much as it can so it simulates you know, real world heat, full sunlight, all of the simulations that you can possibly wish they would do to make sure these instruments live out there on the road for professionals and as well for anyone using them. And they live up to that rigorous reputation. They really stand the test. They're beautifully made. The wood is gorgeous with the optional stand. With these beautiful speakers, the experience is uh, unparalleled. Be sure to check out the craft bundles because they know exactly what I'm talking about and they put all of these accessories together and offer them to you at an exceptional value. The Nord Grand is an amazing achievement. They've put together incredible technology, and the musicians who bring this to you clearly understand the playing experience. If you have any questions or need more information, reach out to your sales advisor at Kraft Music. They're happy to help you. Thanks again for watching. I'm Chris Martirano.